What's up, everyone? Welcome to the March 9th edition of FanDuel Tournament Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. As a reminder, you get one free month of Osmo Plus Platinum when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. Be sure to use the code Awesomeo to receive a 100% first deposit bonus up to $100. We have a massive 12-game NBA slate tonight. I believe it's the biggest slate we've had since the NBA All-Star break. So as always, there's a lot of moving parts, moving pieces, injuries that we're waiting on. Be sure to tune in to the Deeper Dive and Live Before Lock in the two hours leading up until Lock on the Awesomeo YouTube channel. But for now, we're going to take a look at five of the top tournament options on tonight's uh, massive 12-game slate. Number five. Reggie Jackson, $7,100 point guard, projected for about 8% ownership with a 10% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Jackson's affordable at 7,100 on FanDuel. He has a good matchup against the Washington Wizards. And if this game's competitive, he's likely to play 34, 35 minutes. He's averaged about a fantasy point per minute without Paul George on the floor this year. Has a usage rate approaching 30%. There's plenty of upside here at this price tag. Number four, Giannis Antetokounmpo, $11,900 with power forward and small forward eligibility. So you can get him at a couple of positions where there's not quite as much opportunity cost as the guard positions or center. Giannis is only projected for about 9% ownership. He has an 11% chance of being in the optimal lineup. The Bucks are taking on the Atlanta Hawks, so a, a pretty good matchup. Um, game has a 240 total. Giannis is relatively likely to need to play the whole game. The Bucks are only about four-point favorites right now, um, and we know that Giannis averages around 1.7 fantasy points per minute. If he does get you 34 or 35 minutes tonight, he's – likely to put up a massive score against the Hawks. The only thing working against Giannis is that, well, two things. For one, at least right now, we don't have a ton of really good cheap value, but it's pretty likely that some opens up between now and lock. And then two, there are a ton of payup options tonight. When you have Luka Doncic, when you have Nikola Jokic, when you potentially have LeBron James, you have DeJounte Murray, there's plenty of guys to get to. Um, and it makes it difficult to you know single out Giannis and say, this is the guy. But at only 9% ownership, he's projected to be going a little bit under-owned. Number three, Trey Young, $9,500 on the other side of that game, taking on the Bucks. Atlanta with a healthy 118 implied total. And Young does see a bump, or sorry, sees a, a decrease in his usage percentage playing alongside John Collins. We got Collins back into the starting lineup last game, but Young's also only $9,500. So it's not like you're paying full price for Young. His salary is a bit discounted. And if this game's competitive, he is still likely to play 36 or 37 minutes. And on top of that, when I say that he sees a, a decrease in usage with John Collins, it's not a, a massive difference. His point per minute production on average, decreases around a tenth of a fantasy point per minute. His assist percentage actually goes up. So you're still talking about a very good fantasy option, just not quite as good as he would be if Collins were out. But he's also only projected for 8% ownership with a 12% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Number two, Damian Jones, $3,600 center only, projected for 12% ownership with a 19% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Jones being center only obviously comes with massive opportunity cost um, on any site, but in particular on FanDuel, since you can only roster one center, it's making it, you know, if you roster Jones, clearly you can't go to Carl Anthony Towns, you can't go to Jokic, you can't go to Gobert. There's, there's a lot of very good centers on the slate. But there's also not a ton of really good, you know, cheap value, as I mentioned before, and there are payup options at every other position. So paying down to Jones, getting someone that's averaged about 0.9 fantasy points per minute this season, and that's likely to play in the upper 20s or even low 30s in minutes tonight. Uh, right now, he just looks like one of the best point per dollar values. And so you're going to be able to build a very high upside lineup around him, even while sacrificing, you know, essentially sacrificing the center position. Number one, CJ McCollum, only $8,500, pulling 24% ownership, but with a 30% chance of being in the optimal lineup. McCollum is only shooting guard eligible, so makes it a little bit more difficult to get him into lineups than if he were, you know, available at point guard as well. But He's played very well since joining the Pelicans. He has a good matchup tonight against the Orlando Magic. Uh, the Magic, you know, not a good team defensively, and they play at a fast pace. And probably most importantly, the Pelicans will once again be without Brandon Ingram. Since joining the Pels, McCollum has averaged 1.27 FanDuel points per minute. He has a 28.3% usage rate, a 28.2% assist percentage. Both of those numbers increase when you take Brandon Ingram off the floor. Uh, McCollum had around a 34% usage rate in last night's game without Ingram. I expect him to be in that ballpark again tonight. Pretty clearly underpriced for his role without Brandon Ingram. Um, and you know, projected to be going on their own, even though he is pulling around 24% ownership. So to recap, the top five options on tonight's slate for FanDuel tournaments, number five, Reggie Jackson, number four, Giannis Antetokounmpo, number three, Trey Young, number two, Damian Jones, and number one, CJ McCollum.